a little crazy. <laughs> I just got out of the shower and I'm about to put on my self tan. And <laughs> so I've gotten a lot of compliments and comments about what self tanner do I use and how do I use it with good reason. I mean, it's about to be warm. It's not today, but it's about to be warm and it's going to stay warm and get warmer. And I thought today, because there's a lot of people staying in right now, I would talk about something different than wig content and do how I self tan. So if you're not interested in that, that's okay. Um, but I wanted to let you know what this is going to be about. It's not going to be the typical, it's going to be a different dazzle, a different daily dazzle. <laughs> so when I get out of the shower, like now, I typically just dry off and don't put any moisturizer on right away. I found that the first out of the shower, it, the, the product will sink into my skin a lot better, a lot faster. I can't use foundation. I just can't. I have tried. And I think that if I show you here, you can see I got a lot going on. <laughs> and it just it just sticks in here. And as much as I try, I don't like it. So I tried to scrub as much as I could off because I put it on every day and that's how I get the look that I want. So when I get in the shower, I tried to get it all off to make a canvas that's blank, but it doesn't work that way because it stains. So you can see that it's stained in here. Uh, it's stained, always stains around my eyebrows because it collects in the hairs of my eyebrows and, and stains. But you can see staining here. And what you'll notice is that it never adheres to this part of my, my the right side of my forehead here on my temple. It does never adheres to this spot. I don't know why. And it will make this, my mom called this liver spots, uh, this age spot, it'll make it darker. And if I were to go out in the sunshine, that liver spot would get really dark. Um, but this is all come off. This is all come off. This has come off. It's still stained around in here. I have a, a cut here from Pete. And I got a blemish from trying foundation last week. Um, my sister sent me some to try. Very expensive, beautiful foundation, lovely formula, but it breaks me out and oxidizes and gives a white cast on my face so that by the time I come home and look in the mirror, I look like I'm wearing a mask and just can wipe it off. So that's initially what made me start wearing self tanner in the first place instead of foundation. So. I don't have anything on my skin. I do not tan this part of my body, just my hands. So you can kind of see that they are self-tanned. And I do this part every day, but I don't typically do this part. My favorite brand is Saint-Tropez. And my favorite kind is a foaming, a foam, my favorite. There is a liquidy kind that you can pour out. I've used this in the past and it's okay. And if I don't have the foaming kind, because these aren't cheap, I, I will be careful and use the liquid. But right now I still have some left. I'm, I'm almost done with it. There is another brand. I got all these from my sister because she keeps trying to use self tanner. She wants it too because her fair, she's very fair complected, my sister Chrissy. And so she keeps trying and she's never happy with it. And I think that's just like a wig. When you put on a different wig style, maybe shorter or longer in a different color than, you're, than you've been used to or wearing, and it's like just wrong and you, your, your mind can't say, that's me. You can't find your identity in it right away. I think that's the same way with self-tanning. So keep that in mind, just like a different wig. Give it a chance to wear on you, wear wear on you, I guess. So these are two, when, so I'm about to run out of this. And when I do, I will use this brand that she has sent me. So I'm, I'm gonna use this next. One says Gradual 10, and this is One Hour Express 10 by this brand. Before I had that brand, she sent me this, and this was my all-time favorite. 
This is by Ashley Tidesdale. And this smells fantastic. It smells like apple cinnamon. But it's a cream form. And I liked it a lot before I got the foam kind. Whether I use a cream kind or a liquid kind, this is stuff that she sent me before. Or a foam kind, I use a mitt. And this mitt came in a kit with Josie Marin. So it came in a kit. So what does it matter what type you want that velour? Same stuff that our wood grips are made of. And I start with one pump. One pump like that. I never take my neck a little soft, so I throw it in the back. And I start at my neck. And you can see my ears are stained because I hit them, I hit them too. So I start down here and I bring it up across this way. Rub it across my ear. And then again. And this one has almost like a coloring to it. This is the only parts that show. And then I take it across my hands like this because these will show. And you can see a difference already. And then I'll take it across this hand. And then that's it. And I do this every morning. A few minutes after I do this, it, you can start to feel it be tacky, and that's when I use a translucent powder. I don't use something like this with a, a actual color color. I use something white and translucent, like this, or like this. And this will help. This is actually Pacifica, because I know you'll probably ask me, and that's okay. I like Pacifica. I try to use as many vegan products as possible because Pete licks my face and I just don't like him. I just don't like knowing that he's licking, you know, stuff off my face. So I take a translucent powder that's white like this and I just kind of set it down. I don't move anything around, but I just put the powder on to keep me from feeling tacky. And that sets it in place, it keeps it. From being, feeling tacky for me. And then I'll go have a cup of coffee and then I'll, I'll go in and put on my um, primer. And I just tap my primer in around my face. And then I'll tap in my blush and contour and then start on the eyes, which you've seen me do before, but. I wanted to show you how this works and then um, I moisturize at night. So when I come home after work and I, I, I take my eye makeup off, I will moisturize it and then in the morning I'll get up and do the same thing and I'll take the mitt and I will just do the face and I don't know if you can tell already that it is starting to brown me up just a little already. So one thing that you might want to try just to see if it's going to work for you, this is the biggest secret, this, the mitt, you know, that way my, my hands never get stained. You might just want to try it. I'll try this, this, um, one hour express 10. You might just want to try it. Ooh, it comes out dark. I like that because you can kind of see where it goes on, on just one part of your body. and let it set up and see if you like the color on something that's not going to show right away like your face and see if it's a color that looks good that is something you you know would feel comfortable in wearing and then then go to the face or maybe just like right in here there's no wrinkles in here so anyway if you self tan let me know what your favorite brand is 
And if you're thinking about self-tanning this summer, we'll talk soon.